let us understand e payments are also known as electronic payments their working mechanism and different types of e payments when it comes to e commerce people look for a required product that is searching for the product select the required product and make the payment make the payment that to online so people transfer the amount electronically that is the reason why it is known as electronic payment system because the amount is received the seller delivers the product so e-commerce is nothing but buying or selling products or services over the internet so here the customers make the payments that also in electronic format that is the reason why it is called as electronic payment or, or also known as e-payment and such electronic payments are adopted in different areas and not only in online purchases but also in banking or hospitals or educational institutions and at most places this kind of electronic payments are made and in fact wherever the money is to change the hands in all those places people make use of electronic payments and it is because of electronic payments the business organizations can deliver the products or services effectively so this is the biggest advantage of electronic payment systems now let us understand how this electronic payment system works here there are four entities first entity is customer second entity is merchant third one is a merchant's bank account and fourth one is customer's bank account so customer customer bank merchant merchant bank in this way total there are four entities because the transaction happens among these four entities and for example purpose here i am assuming the customer may be having an account in city bank city bank and the merchant is having an account in bank of america so in this way total there are four entities customer customer bank that is the city bank merchant and merchants bank that is bank of america now let us understand how the transactions happen the online customer places an order on merchants website so every online merchant consists of a website on that particular website the customer may be placing an order whenever an order is placed the customer sends a request to customers bank so customer is sending a request to customers bank to pay the amount to merchants bank accordingly the customers bank transfers the amount to merchants bank so customers bank is transferring the amount to merchants bank then the merchants bank sends a confirmation to merchant so merchants bank is sending the confirmation that the amount is received from the customer that confirmation is received uh, it reaches the merchant then the merchant door delivers the product so this is how the electronic payments work so online customer places an order sends a request to customers bank customers bank transfers the amount to merchants bank merchant bank sends a confirmation to uh, merchant then the merchant delivers the product so this is the working mechanism of electronic payments now let us look at different types of e payments 
there are number of electron payment systems available let us look at one by one first one it is debit card a debit card is nothing but a small plastic card and of course nowadays they come with one chip also this debit card consists of a number that debit card number is associated with bank account number debit card number is associated with bank account number so in this way both of them are tied together the debit card number and bank account number both of them are tied together and this kind of debit cards are issued by the bank to the customers of that particular bank and these debit cards consists of amount they consists of the amount that is equal to bank balance whatever the bank uh, that is customer is having the balance in the bank account for that particular amount uh, the customer can make the payment using the debit card so debit card consists of amount that is equal to bank balance and whenever customer makes the payment that much amount gets deducted from the corresponding bank account because the same balance bank balance is made available on this debit card whenever customer makes any online payment that particular amount gets uh, deducted from the corresponding bank account so that is about a debit card now let us look at a credit card so credit card it is also very much similar to the debit card both of them are one and the same looks wise looks wise both of them are one and the same but a debit card consists of amount that is equal to bank balance debit cards consists of amount that is equal to bank balance whereas in case of credit card along with that balance the bank provides a revolving fund the bank provides a revolving fund that revolving fund acts as a credit it acts as a credit that is a loan so bank provides a revolving fund as a loan from that revolving fund the customer can borrow and make the payment so over and above the bank balance the customers can make use of the amount now from this revolving fund in case of a credit card so nowadays credit cards are issued for a predefined amount and without uh, related to the bank balance without related to bank balance nowadays credit cards are issued for the predefined amount that predefined amount acts as a revolving fund from such a revolving fund the customers can borrow and make the payment so the main advantage of the main advantage of uh, uh, credit cards is that the revolving amount acts as a short term loan and every month the banks send a statement and accordingly the card holder has to repay that amount whenever customer repays that expenditure amount that gets added to revolving fund so the revolving fund reaches the same level that is a predefined level once again the customer can borrow and make the Uh, purchases so this way the revolving revolving fund acts as a a kind of short term loan so the customer has to repay the amount uh, by the specified date otherwise nowadays banks are charging very high interest rates along with penalties also 
so that is one point that is to be remembered in case of uh, credit cards and if we see the uh, common things between uh, debit card and credit card is in both the cases uh, the customers have to specify the card number whether it is a debit card or credit card they have to specify the card number along with the cvv number and card expiry date name on the card all these things are to be specified by the customer these details are verified by the merchant okay only when the customer satisfy i mean the merchant satisfies with the card number cvv number date of expiry name of the customer because all these things are verified then only the payment is made otherwise the payment will be rejected next type of payment e payment is a digital wallet this digital wallet is very very useful for regular customers generally regular customers deposit some amount with online sellers because they are a repeat customers instead of making the payment using cards or other modes generally they deposit some amount with online seller then the online seller deposit that amount in the login account of the customer and whenever customers purchase products that amount bill amount is cleared from such wallet amount so wallet is nothing but uh, the amount that is deposited in the login account of the customer so customers deposit the amount with online sellers online sellers keep it in login account of the customer and whenever customers purchase any product then the amount is cleared from such wallet amount and this particular model is really useful in case of repeat customers or regular customers next it is eft that is electronic fund transfer this is nothing but transferring the amount from one account to another account whenever people want to transfer the amount from one bank account to another bank account then they go for electronic fund transfer and one important point is the sender and the receiver need not they are not supposed to have accounts in the same bank sender's bank may be different and the receiver's bank may be different still using this facility electronic fund transfer uh, the people can transfer from one account to another account which may be in the same bank or may be in uh, different banks and such electronic fund transfers can even be done using uh, atms or computers or mobile phones and last one it is uh, mobile payments so nowadays the mobiles are used not only for communication but also for making payments so payments can be made uh, for a product or a services and using mobiles the amounts can be transferred to individuals or business organizations but only thing is people need to install Uh, one of the apps like uh, google pay or amazon pay or phone pay or paytm so this way uh, one of the apps are to be installed uh, on their mobile phone so using which people can make the payments and all these apps whether it is google pay or uh, phone pay amazon pay paytm all these apps permit transferring the amounts to others Uh, via mobile numbers or scanning a qr codes or online sellers or even to other banks so this is the biggest uh, advantage of uh, mobile payments so mo- using mobiles which are primarily supposed to be used for communication we can even make the payments using mobile phones 
so these are all the different types of payments that are available so we looked at uh, the types of uh, payments uh, uh, debit cards credit cards electronic fund transfers and digital wallets and mobile payments